Alright ladies and gentlemen the YouTube citizens, it's another Call of Duty Advanced Warfare commentary and Happy New Year to everybody, this is your boy Dash the and Fun, oh! <laughs> now last week I brought back my true tall tales as I was telling y'all my story about Chuck Testa, but then, and I was going to continue with it this week, but then something caught my attention. Playoffs! The NFL Playoffs, yes! So, I gotta give you, the YouTube citizens, my predictions as far as what I think will happen. And before I even do that, let me share with you, the YouTube citizens, my predictions going into the regular season. Which is somewhat different from what um, is going down right now. So, let's get things rolling with that. So, originally, I had... On the AFC side, because we go start with the normally I start with the NFC, but this time it's roll with the AFC um, this side of right time around. I had the Colts with the number one record, uh, Patriots with the number two record, then the Broncos, followed by the Bengals winning that division, and then the Chargers and then the Steelers. And then on the NFC side, I had the Saints going 15 and one with the number one record, obviously followed by the Seahawks, then the Packers. With 12 and 4, and they actually went 12 and 4. Then the Redskins will get the number 4 spot based off of division win only. Then the Panthers will finish 12 and 9. Then the 49ers will finish, I mean 12 and 9, 12 and 4. And then the 49ers will finish 12 and 4. Now, my Super Bowl pick, I had New England knocking off Seattle to win this year's Super Bowl. Now, obviously, the teams that I predicted to win the division, that we spent the divisions early before the season started, didn't do that. Like, for example, Washington didn't win their division. Uh, the Saints didn't win their division. You know. But it was, I was, I was, it was somewhere close. It was there. You know. So let's get straight into it. So let's start out again with the AFC and the first game that would be shown on the AFC side is a doozy rivals squaring off for the third straight time this season the Baltimore Ravens on the road against the Pittsburgh Steelers now the main factor in all this is the health of uh, Pittsburgh's running back and LeVon Bell who got hit in the knees against Cincinnati this past Sunday. So the question is, will he play? If he do indeed play with Pittsburgh at home, I think Pittsburgh will win that game. If he does not play, and I thought about this, like if he doesn't play, uh, I don't want to say that Baltimore would go on the road and knock off Pittsburgh, but it's going to be close. It could go either way. But with Bell in the game, Pittsburgh will obviously have the advantage, but with Bell out of the game, it is a seesaw battle. It could go either way. So on the safe side, I think Baltimore will not win on the road against Pittsburgh. I think Pittsburgh will advance on as division winners. Now, the other game that would take place Sunday for the AFC side, it would be the Cincinnati Bengals on the road against the Indianapolis Colts. And the Colts has been up and down as of late, and this is going to be another close one. Um, obviously they got, they've been on the up recently winning this past Sunday, obviously, but I mean, there's no buts because when it, it's Cincinnati, you know, and when it comes to Cincinnati, when it comes to the playoffs, they don't deliver, you know, and, and that's how it is with any pro team from Ohio, <laughs> you know, they don't deliver. So yeah, you can expect Cincinnati to falter once again and lose to Indy this time around. All right, so now we move on to the um, the divisional round where who got the uh, Indy got the third seed. Yeah, Indy got the third seed. If memory serves me correctly, so Indy will be going up against Denver, and Pittsburgh will go up against New England, who have the overall best record in the AFC. So the Colts against. I said Cincy? Yeah, Cincy. The coast against Cincy. No, no, actually, no, my fault. I'm sorry. Actually, no. Pittsburgh got a better... Pittsburgh got the third seed over Indy because, of, you know, uh, a tiebreaker because Pittsburgh beat Indy. So, actually, it would be Indianapolis going on the road against New England and it's Pittsburgh going on the road against Denver. That's going to be a very interesting matchup. Pittsburgh with their tough defense 
on the road against Denver, who trying to reestablish themselves or something. I don't know what the hell they're doing up there. They're trying to get a winning game going. But either way, uh, I still say Denver wins because they're at home. And, you know, again, the whole bail uh, injury thing, like, he could just miss one week and still show up for the Denver game. But you never know. So I'm going to roll with Denver to win that game. And then the other one, which is Indy against New England, and that's a no contest right there. No brainer. New England wins that one without question. And then the AFC Conference Championship game is Brady against Manny once again. And the game is in New England. And I did have them going against one another in the divisional round in my regular season prediction. But it's going to take place in the conference finals. And the result, I still got the same result. New England going to the Super Bowl. Now on the NFC side, I got to start off with... Detroit on the road against Dallas. Now, originally, the Dominican Sue was suspended for a game, but he, um, obviously, he, you know, got the appeal. So now he's going to play. He just now just fined 70000 So he's going to play against Dallas, and that's make a big difference. Because as we all know, Dallas is undefeated on the road, but this game is down at their house. Now, yeah, I know the last time they played in their house, they destroyed Indy. But again, Indy has been up and down. So now the question is, can they run the ball against the best worst defense in the, na in, the in the entire league? And with the Dominican Sue in there, and keep in mind, I believe, yeah, Tony Romo still got some broken wheels, playing with some well, broken wheels or damaged wheels, something like that. And DeMarco Murray, some, it's something about his hand. So they still going to be playing with injuries. They, you know, in Detroit, they like to come at the people though, on the defensive side. Low scoring game, but I, I'm going to go with Detroit. I'm going to go with Detroit. Knock it off Dallas on the road. And the other wild card match, uh, Carolina against Arizona. Now, Wild Boy would be shocked when I say that. I do not like the fact that Carolina get a home playoff game and don't have a winning record. they 7-8-1. and eight and, one. and Arizona went 11-5. I hate that. They need to change that playoff format. I think they will. They, they talk about adding two more teams to the playoff format either next season or the season after. They sometime doing it it's in the future or whatever. But at the end of the day, it's, you know, Arizona wanted to have Drew Stanton and um, Carson Palmer. I think that's their starting quarterback. Drew Stanton was their backup. So they won't have either one of the quarterbacks. Their offense has been faltered. And they're on the road against Carolina. I, I, even though I'm, I want Arizona to win because, to me, I think it's stupid for a team like Carolina to have a record like that and to have home field advantage against a team that went 11. It's stupid. I would want Arizona to win just because of my sense of what's right and what's wrong. But at the end of the day, I got to go with Carolina, unfortunately. Sorry, Wild Boy. I, I'm a root for Arizona, but, uh, you know, I, I, I just don't see it happen. Now, by Detroit winning, they got Seattle in the uh, divisional round. Oh, boy. So <laughs> and shout out to FD, the Seattle fan, the Seattle native. And as much as I want to say, oh, Detroit going to win that one. You know, this is Detroit. This is my city. Born and raised and currently living there. I can't see them knocking off the defending Super Bowl champs. I, I just can't. I'm going to root for it to happen. I'm going to cheer for it to happen. I just can't see it happening. I got to give the edge to Seattle at home, unfortunately. And then Carolina goes off to Green Bay. And I ain't going to spend much time in that one. Carolina ain't going to beat Green Bay. So we set up. Seattle at home against Green Bay. We matched from what happened early in the year. Aaron Rodgers, I'm expecting, would play better this time around than what he did early in the year, where he was basically avoiding Richard Sherman. But the result is the same because Green Bay sucked on the road, and Seattle is basically unbeatable at home for the most part. Um, Seattle wins and goes to the Super Bowl. And hey, there you go. My Super Bowl pick before the season starts, I still got it coming true, and I still got New England. Winning the Super Bowl. Yes, New England knocking off Seattle to win the Super Bowl. New England has been way overdue for a Super Bowl victory. So that's right. You can book it. I got New England over Seattle to win the Super Bowl. So there's my playoff predictions. And as you can see, the game is over. This is the new Jay Gatsby saying happy holidays and happy new year.